several inches of snow walked some residents of northwest Washington, breaking the broth of a weather system that barely dusted parts of the southern Puget Sound. In Blaine, northern the Canadian border, 15 inches of snow had accumulated. Bellingham was also covered with a foot of snow, 11 inches peeling up in Port Angeles. Mount Vernon reportedly had up to 9 inches. Nearly 7 inches of snow fell in at Oak Harbor, and just an inch and a half for the south and Burn Bridge Island. In a Kitsap County, county buildings closed early due to inclement weather. The county car filmed the ongoing opening of several good shelters and noted several intermittent road closure due to weather conditions. Show total in Kinspell County, varied by city and borough, with National Weather Service reports ranging from 0.18 inches in Bremerton and over 9 inches in Seabeck. The speed barely reached 14 miles per hour. Several sprinters and crashes have been reported that crash on I-5 on the Burridge Freeway block at three lanes. In fact, it was often difficult to disappear any lines on I-5 through Snohomish County. The Washington State Department of Transportation tweeted that across the state, many snow plows are primarily used for stand blasting because ice are no longer effective. The agency advised drivers to be prepared for dangerous conditions for several days. A winter storm that lasts until Friday morning is expected to bring snow and freezing rain to western Washington. Nearly all of western Washington has been under the winter storm warning signs Friday evening. Most of the Puget Sound era will be under warning and Sakwe, Whatcom, and San Juan counties will be under the storm warning. The combination of snow, freezing rain and gust winds can cause several traffic problems on the road and the airport. Damage to train power lines is possible leading to local power outage on Friday morning. Softer air continues to erode the Arctic air through throughout Friday, with most low-line areas mostly raining by afternoon outside and a few valleys where the colder air lining longer. Snow levels rise to about 5,000 feet late Friday night in the mountains, so it will rain late at many places tomorrow evening. Snowfalls and treacherous roads are expected to remain throughout the week But winter conditions haven't stopped settle residents and visitors from enjoying the city. Cold A moved south from North Event into the Seattle area on Tuesday morning, and about two inches of snow fell in the city by noon. It was outside of the city received by seven inches of snow overnight from Monday to Tuesday afternoon. Heavy snowfall, freezing rain, and sleet have disrupted travel across the Pacific Northwest, causing massive flying, cancellation, and delays, and creative dangerous driving conditions in the region stretched from Vancouver, Canada, and the Washington and Oregon. No flying departing from Vancouver on the Tuesday afternoon due to heavy snowfall, airport officials say. Massive cancellation are cooled overnight and they're expected to continue throughout the day and week. In the parts of the region, winter weather conditions have led to traffic incidents and traffic congestions. The police are investigating. The accident had noted that a thin layer of ice on the highway running through the gauge would be the cause of the incident. About 37 miles of the remaining eastbound I-84 was closed to several hours between Hood River and Trudel due to truck incident.
Much of Michigan is under a blizzard of winter storm warning from Tuesday evening to Saturday. Christmas Eve as a large storm front sweeps through the Midwest of the Great Lake region. The total amount of snowfall was very by state, with mostly it falling on the western shoreline of Lake Michigan and the northwest lower peninsula. 2 to 7 inches of snow is expected to the Detroit metro area, with 5 to 8 inches expected farther north toward the Trumbull. More than a foot snow fell in the Grand Rapids area in the much of the western Michigan.